Hello everyone, I'm Anti Gu Xiang. Today we will talk about how the sewing thread is made. Like the back of this chair, there are some sewing threads like this. How are these sewing threads made? There are some sewing threads like this. We first need to make a model of the furniture. I'll delete this finished sewing thread first. Let's make it again. First choose this model. Then select the line inside the gap. Press Ctrl to select. After the selection is complete, right click and select create shape. Again, here select linear. OK. This creates a graph. Show it in isolation. Then we add a normalize SPL modifier to the line. Find the normalize SPL modifier in the modification panel. Its default parameter is 20. We need to change it to 5. Make it smaller. Then the length of the line segment is 5. Right. Click to convert it to editable spline. Control plus to select all vertices. Right click to convert it to a corner. Then right click and select break vertices. Select one of the vertices. Move out a little bit. Check if it's disconnected. After confirming that it has been disconnected, Open the Rendering option in the Modify panel. Check the Enabling Renderer and Enabling Viewport options. Then change the Side value to 4. Make it smaller. Then change its Thickness to 1.5. Then convert it to Editable Poly. Then we select by Element. Control plus selects all elements. Use this Zoom tool. According to the default play mode, deal with each object's own axis. Then we put the mouse in the yellow area of the axis. Make a tiny zoom on it. Let the line break a little distance. An extra line appears on the cross section of each element. Some extra lines appear here. We need to remove this line. We use similar in the graphite tool. Click this similar button to select all excess lines. Then use Ctrl plus backspace to remove all the extra lines. Then use norms in the graphite tool. Add another material to it. We open the material editing panel to set a default white material. Then assign the material to the model. It becomes a white sewing thread. If you think it's not very effective, then you can change the iterations of norms to 2. Then you will get a more perfect effect. Exit Orphan. You can get a very perfect sewing thread. The same way is done elsewhere. For example, the above seam is the same way. We select the line inside the gap. Then right click to create the graph. Select Linear. OK. Created a graph, then find the Normalize SPL modifier in the modification panel. Add the Normalize SPL command to it. Change its value to 5. Right click again to make editable spline. Enter the vertex sub label. Ctrl plus selects all vertices. Right click to convert it to a corner. Then right click and select break vertices. Select one of the vertices. Move out a little bit. Check if it's disconnected after confirming that it has been disconnected. Then convert it to editable poly. Click this similar button. 
Then use Ctrl plus Backspace to remove all the extra lines. Ctrl plus selects all elements. Select the Zoom button. Scale using the objects on axis. Place the mouse on the yellow area of the axis to zoom. So that it can be disconnected by the same distance. Then use norms in the graphite tool. Change iterations of norms to 2. You can get a very perfect effect. Then assign this white material to the model. Exit orphan. The sewing thread on this side is finished. The effect is perfect. This is a set of office chair models I made before. That's it for today. Thank you all.